Hey, what's up guys? Burden here from AtticGaming.com and today I'm going to show you a Mesmer build uh, that's actually been up on the site for some time but I've never gotten around to actually making a video of it. So this build basically revolves around uh, fan phantasms and there's really no shattering at all in this build. Uh, the weapons I'm using are the great sword and then I'm using a sword pistol as well. So for the great sword, uh, I have number two, which basically I throw my sword hitting enemies, and it bounces between enemies and allies. And if it hits an ally, it gives it gives them might, and if it hits an uh, enemy, it uh, applies vulnerability, and it's pretty good damage as well. Then number three is a little AOE, which also removes a boon uh, from enemies. Uh, it is a little harder to hit because the circle is uh, is kind of small. Uh, number four, uh, create a phantasm that uses a whirling attack to damage a cripple foes. Uh, this this attack actually does a lot of damage, and the cripple is uh, uh, it's pretty awesome. So uh, the whole purpose of this build, uh, other than the phantasms, the pros of this build would be that it has a really high burst damage, or some people will say spike damage, uh, but what that means is uh, in like a couple of seconds I could put out a ton of damage but then uh, in between those short bursts of damage uh, the, me the damage is somewhat mediocre uh, kind of average and then when m uh, my abilities come off a of cooldown then I can release another big burst of damage so this if you like burst builds then this is a good one um, but again there is no shattering you get most of your burst builds just through uh, your phantasms alone uh, your number five is a uh, pushback uh, illusionary wave uh, this is really good for uh, some crowd control, either getting people out of a point, or it could be really good for uh, like the rezzing stomping mechanic. Uh, if you need to res an ally and there are people trying to stomp him, you can use your number 5 and knock him off and then uh, try to res your ally really fast. Or you can, um, you can use it to stomp people as well. So if there's people trying to resurrect an enemy, you can knock them off too. For the heal, I'm using I'm using Ether Feast. Uh, since I'll have three active illusions up at all, uh, at, not at all time, but at most times, uh, my heals will be a lot bigger. So it makes sense to have this one. And the utilities, I have Phantasmal Disenchanter, which uh, cures conditions and it also removes boons on enemies. And then Null Field, which uh, cures all conditions on allies. So there's a good amount of condition removal uh, in this build just from the utilities. Now on the site I have for my last utility I have uh, teleport I think, uh, blink uh, I mean but I actually have switched over to decoy just for the stealth because when you start getting focused down when they realize this is so, somewhat of a glass cannon build uh, when they realize that you're doing a lot of damage and they might uh, try to focus you down uh, popping in the stealth is really good and another great thing about it is when you come out of stealth, people are sometimes confused as to uh, which which illusion you actually are, or which person you actually are, so uh, it is a good way to confuse people. And it is your stun breaker as well. So for the elite, I'm using the MOA. I mean, there's really no other option for a Mesmer. It's the best, it's one of the best elites, I think. Um, in group fights, you can, if it's like a 4 vs 4 on a point you can easily take a person out for 10 seconds you know you can make one person completely useless for 10 seconds and as far as I know it's completely unbreakable it's uh, if I'm right it's the only control crowd control in the game that's unbreakable so everything else you can get out of except for this one and then the, let's switch over to the sword pistol uh, the sword does a decent amount of damage but uh, usually I just come to the sword pistol just to use my pistol. I don't like to use my sword too much if I don't have to because I like to stay farther away. Because the great sword does a lot more damage when um, when you're farther away. You can see the damage increases the farther away you are. So if you're uh, farther than 900 range, the great sword actually has 1200 range. It's pretty crazy. It's a really far range. So if you're over 900 uh, distance away, you do 762 damage. Uh, that's what it says. So the farther away you are, the more damage you do. So I like to stay away from people out in a fight. Like try to really keep your distance, and uh, you really don't need to go into f into the middle of, of all the fighting or anything. Try to stay on the outside and uh, do your thing. So for the pistol, you have your stun, and it also dazes. 
this is um, it actually bounces through three people it dazes the three people but the first target you hit stuns so this is also good for the resing stomping mechanic and what I sometimes uh, what I like to do is I pop into stealth and then I'll use my number four which is phantasmal duelist and that creates a clone that shoots like a pistol barrage at um, at your enemy and it's a it's a really heavy burst uh, ability so I like to if I pop into stealth uh, I'll use my number four and then I'll use my number five and then I can run up to the enemy and then use my number two which is blurred frenzy and that one is also a big burst damage so they'll be getting hit by my pistol barrage uh, phantasm and then they'll be getting hit by my blurred frenzy as well I also actually like to use blurred frenzy sometimes um, just to evade attacks because you see that when you use blurred frenzy you gain what's called blur and you evade all attacks while you're using it so uh, you could be creative with it if like a thief is coming up and starting to backstab you and maybe you're out of endurance or something like that you could use your blurred frenzy and uh, you know, evade his attacks for two seconds I mean, if you need that time to get away. So anyway, let's look at the traits real quick. Uh, I actually don't go into the third tier of any traits. Uh, I actually stay only second tier and below. So first major trait is illusions inflict 15% more damage. And you have to remember uh, what I said. We'll have three active illusions up. We'll never shatter them. So any benefit that we get from a from illusions is really good in this build because uh, we'll always try to have three active illusions up at all time and then you gain f this one's really good actually for a minor trait you gain five seconds of vigor on delivering a critical hit and this effect can only trigger once every five seconds so actually you have like perma vigor on and what vigor is is uh, endurance regen so make sure you're dodging uh, abilities so you'll have a lot of endurance regen in this build and um, you'll have a lot of you'll have a lot of endurance to be dodging and then the first major trait is phantasmal fury your phantasms have fury the second major trait uh, create a clone at your current position when you dodge so that's always nice and then uh, th the second minor trait is inflicting bleeds on critical hits now the first major trait in chaos is illusionary defense so three percent reduced damage for each illusion you have in the world so once we have three that'll be of course nine percent reduced damage that we're taking and uh, I want to look at these three minor traits real quick uh, the first one is metaphysical rejuvenation you gain 10 seconds of regeneration when your health reaches 75 percent and then the next one is Illusionary Membrane. You gain protection for three seconds when you gain regeneration. Uh, so basically when this comes off, the, or when the, you gain this, the 10 seconds of regeneration at 75% health, you gain protection as well. And then when you come down to Inspiration, the minor trait, uh, Phantasms grant regeneration to nearby allies. So when, fan, when you use your Phantasms and they grant regeneration, they're also granting protection as well. So with your 9% uh, reduced damage, on top of your protection you're actually at a 42 percent reduced damage so when you add that together so it's pretty good I mean this is very glass cannon but you'd be surprised how long you can survive uh, okay grants retaliation to phantasm so when people attack your phantasms uh, they'll take damage as well uh, compounding celerity move faster for each active illusion and then fan uh, we talked about that already phantasmal healing and illusions, illusion is uh, celerity, illusion summoning skills recharge 20% faster which is uh, good because a lot of our burst comes from the illusion skills uh, that we use and then compounding power, 3% more damage for each active illusion so uh, we'll have 9% damage, increased damage uh, with when we have all three of our active illusions up. Now for the runes, I'm using the runes of divinity uh, plus 10 to all stats and then the 2% crit for each step uh, because I crit a lot and then I want uh, in this build I want a really high crit uh, crit damage so I love I've said it in videos before but I love runes of divinity and uh, it's really hard for me to switch over to other runes but you might be able to do um, I forget what it's called but there's a rune that increases regen um, regen duration and protection du duration and I think it gives you maybe plus healing or something like that I'm not sure but that's something to look into as well. If uh, you want to re if you want to increase the duration of your protection and regeneration. 
for the sword, since I'm critting a lot, uh, I get the superior fire, trigger, flame blast for AoE, and then the superior air, uh, cause a lightning strike. And then on the great sword, I get uh, superior air, uh, cause a lightning strike as well. Because I, I would get the AoE, but I tend to, um, I tend to f focus people down one by one, so... Uh, it's much better to, for me, anyway, my own personal opinion, I like the lightning strike more because it helps me focus down uh, people faster instead of just spreading the damage. Because uh, we have like one skill that does uh, AoE damage, or maybe two skills from our greatsword, but it's pretty minimal. Uh, we do really strong, we do really strong single target uh, damage, so I think superior air is better than the superior fire uh, for the greatsword. And for the Amulet, I'm using Berserker's Amulet, and I'm using Berserker's Jewel. So um, it is a glass cannon build, but with the Perma Vigor, basically, we have. And then the Regen and Protection gives us some defense. And then we have the we have some pretty heavy condition removal through our uh, utilities as well. Alright, thanks guys for watching this build. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more of these builds, and in the future I'll be releasing some gameplay footage of this build uh, to give you a demonstration of how to use it. So uh, make sure you subscribe for that. If you have any comments or questions, make sure to leave one below, and I always try to get back to you guys. So make sure if you have one, uh, make sure you're leaving one. And uh, if you want, you can hop over to our site and leave one in our forums. Uh, I could get back to you there as well. Thanks for watching the video, guys. This has been Burden from AddictGaming.com. And remember, video game addiction is a good thing, so keep on gaming. Alright, thanks guys for watching this build. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more of these builds, and in the future I'll be releasing some gameplay footage of this build uh, to give you a demonstration of how to use it. So uh, make sure you subscribe for that. If you have any comments or questions, make sure to leave one below, and I always try to get back to you guys, so make sure if you have one, uh, make sure you're leaving one. And uh, if you want, you can hop over to our site and leave one in our forums. Uh, I could get back to you there as well. Thanks for watching the video, guys. This has been Burden from AddictGaming.com. And remember, video game addiction is a good thing, so keep on gaming. About the spirits uh, that I've been dealing with lately. Uh, the spirits for me, I feel they take they take too much AOE damage. Uh, if you have any sort of AOE.